guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Pretty Boy Detective Love, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Computer, don't, don't do it, okay? Do not fuck up. Okay? Don't do it. Please. Thank you. He's cheating! Oh! But he's cheating! <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's clearly cheating! Okay, then what do you want to do about it? So then the question is, how the fuck are they going to accuse him of cheating? I mean, yes, she... <laughs> but he comes out of nowhere and says, hey, he's cheating. You know, as in last week, he's cheating and such. But of course, like, she can't go out and say it because, yeah, they're in enemy territory. So it's like, okay, what are y'all going to do to necessarily be like, okay, catch him in the cheating lie and everything? I mean... What you gonna do? <laughs> like, honestly, I have no clue. Oh, God. My smart baby boys and girl. Then why didn't you say anything? Oh, that looks good. How that look good better than when I ate? I had pizza. I mean, yes, pizza is good as fuck, but you know, whatever the hell they're eating, about to eat, mm. like pasta. Once again, I need this song. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, stop it! <laughs> so pretty. Oh, you had to make me fall in love with the one who is in love with a lolly, right? Like. God damn. What is <laughs> Ah
Of course. Yeah. But yeah, how did you know? But if you do, she might be able to help. I, I get it. But, yeah. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because, I mean, honestly, think about it. Where the hell would Mayumi be if she didn't go? I mean, not if she didn't. If she did go with Ray. Not enough, is it though? Yeah. You're right. He had to because what? Number one, what other outfit would he use? And two, how the hell would he disappear that fast? Because no one can disappear that fast unless they go through a door and then they close it really quietly. Like camouflage.
Hey! Even though she technically kind of used it last week, but okay! So, is she going to dress like a bunny girl under disguise? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor baby. No, I think you guys are fine. Maybe he's not cheating this time. I bet you say that to all the girls, huh? Hmm. He looks like Sheena right there, like, oh.
God, that's pretty. Little kitty. Mm-hmm. Do you see her now? Excuse me. Oh, that's fucking smart. Because, yeah, I mean, like, once you've been found out about it, I mean, mm, what else can you do? So, really, this arc was only two episodes. Damn. Well, no. Really, three. Because this started at episode... No, just two. Because this is episode five. Well, didn't think I was going to see you again so soon. So what are you here for, though? He scares me when he has his eyes open like that. Like, oh. Of course it is. Yeah, and then you're gonna, he's not gonna be there. See? So? Hmm? And he's not there still. Mm. 
The, the beginning? The beginning of what? You don't play! Hello? No, 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 no. See? Shaft, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this like my god today. Technically, you already are because this is by the same freaking person. You can't do this. Do you know how much you twisted my mind when I first watched my god today? And how much I had to look up just to get you answered? You can't do that. That's so mean. Why are you doing this? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. But this is a really good episode, honestly. I thought that, you know, when we, when she, when lie went ahead, and she went around that corner, she took her glasses off, you know, he would have been there, just standing there like, oh, you caught me. And I, no, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? But, okay, it, it's really, I think, the reason why she had a hard time, like, looking for, um, the Invisible People was because she didn't have a hard time, she had a hard time accepting who she is as a person. She, she is a female, but she, she reminds me of, um, Haruka? Yeah, Haruka. Haruka Haruhi, because, you know, she's voiced by fucking Haruhi, of course, where it's like, mm, she, she's a female, but she also ex accepts herself as both male and female. Even though she is a part of the Pretty Boy Detective Club, and she is, you know, going from dressing as a regular old school girl to a girl wearing a boy's uniform, which no one should have a problem with that. That's the same thing about how, I think, because, you know, I'll, I'll never forget the first time I watched Fruits Basket, not the new one, the old one, and I showed my parents <laughs> Momiji, and my mom was like, why... Why is he wearing a girl uniform if he's a boy? And, and that was the same thing even in the episode and such. But now, like, everybody, everyone's very much okay with it because to me and to everyone else, it doesn't matter what the hell you wear. It's about what you what you feel is okay for yourself. Yes, you're going to still get judged for it, but if you are okay with wearing a dress outside and you're a guy, then go out there and wear the best damn good-looking dress. Make sure you look good as fuck. And be like, I'm a bad bitch. I am here. Fuck all of you. Like, mm. Because no matter what, she looks good, like, going back and forth. Like, oh my god, she looks so pretty in her bunny girl outfit. Like, stop it. Like, oh my god. Like, if you want to tell, because see, mm. going back to Aura High School Host Club days, there was, <laughs> there was one episode, and I hate the fact that Netflix could, took the damn series off so now if i truly want to rewatch it i have to go somewhere else um it was one episode where like tomiki wanted uh, like or envisioned or imagined like haruhi and like a bunny girl outfit and they had this cute bunny girl outfit but the outfit that he was imagining was just like sexy cute and then the outfit that he wanted them to <laughs> want her to wear was just like a regular old bunny outfit it is but to see like, how, no, once again, how very similar this is to Oron, but still at the same time, different. It does make you think a lot more, just like the Monogatsuri series did, because there were times, and th and that's the one thing why I really, truly wa I love Monogatsuri to death, is, like, when you, no matter how many times you rewatch, and, and I haven't rewatched Monogatsuri in a while, I've watched, like, maybe clips or whatever, but still... Even rewatching like some of the episodes I had to do when I watched it the first time, and I told some people I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch this again." Even with this series, when um, I think it was, um, let's see, this is episode five. I think it was around like episode episode three. It was the week after, or not, not even a week. It was like almost like a day after, um, <laughs> or even a couple of hours after. I decided to rewatch all three episodes again to get like a better perspective of it and by the time I finished the final episode of the very first um book and I'm guessing this is the second book because it seems like we're now officially done with this you know case and we're about to go on to another case by next week for episode six um I honestly understood it a little bit more than I did the first time and how certain things made to play because Chef is one of those types of companies that you know 
they they make a certain moment in a show and you're looking at it in one way and then you go back and you look at it a different way and it's a completely different thing in your hand. Like, it, it's just no matter how many times you rewatch something, you're going to catch something that you didn't catch the first time. And that's the one thing that I truly love about not only this series, but Managatsuri as well because it, it's just so good. It's different. It has a very... Not, not only Je ne quoi vibe, but a very artistic vibe when you look at it because it's like, okay, look at it through their POV, through their point of view and their eyes, and then you're like, oh, okay. But the trick of them, you know, finding out what it was and how he was cheating and ish was very interesting. I don't know why, but I also got a lot of cock and goody vibes with this episode or really this whole arc because I wasn't expecting to do a casino case until like at least maybe episode seven eight maybe so whatever the hell is about to happen for like six to the end of the series I honestly kind of wait because of course I love this cast they're just so brilliant and adorable and yes like ugh, I just love them all so much and I honestly really cannot wait to read this series once I'm completely done with this whole entire series but I wish this honestly even though we are not done with this show yet um Deadass, I wish we could have season two with this, but I think at the end of the day, it depends on um, us as fans, how much money the studio gets in and everything else. So please, please buy merch. I would, lo I would love to buy merch too, but uh, I can't find websites with merch, unfortunately, which sucks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode six. Bye, guys.